सो वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वन डायमेंशनल हीट कंडक्शन इक्वेशन थ्रू एन इन्फाइनाइटली लार्ज प्लेट इन्फाइनाइटली लार्ज वॉल राइट दिस वॉज द इक्वेशन दैट वी रीज फॉर कॉन्स्टेंट थर्मल कंडक्टिविटी एंड दिस इज वेयर अ न्यू टर्म वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड एल्फा एंड एज आई हैव रिटर्न हेयर एल्फा इज द थर्मल डिफ्यूजिविटी एंड हाउ इज इट डिफाइंड न्यूमेरिकली alpha is equal to k divided by rho c this is what we reached here right rho c divided by k so we wrote it as 1 by alpha where alpha is equal to k divided by rho c now what is k k is thermal conductivity we know about it rho is density of the material and this small c is the specific heat of the material what does specific heat tells it tells the amount of energy or here you can say the amount of heat required to increase the temperature of unit mass this is important here of unit mass by 1 degree celsius right but here it is multiplied with density when it is multiplied with density this combined term is defined for unit volume right it will be defined for unit volume so it tells rho multiplied by c tells the amount of energy or amount of heat here required to increase the temperature of any unit volume in the material by 1 degree celsius okay now thermal conductivity we have a feel about it we have a feel about thermal conductivity that it tells that how fastly the heat propagates from the fourier's law of uh, heat conduction we know that when area and other parameters of temperature and geometry are constant then more will be the thermal conductivity more will be the rate at which heat is flowing right so numerator here in this expression numerator is telling that how faster the heat is going to propagate but denominator is telling the amount of heat that will be stored right k is telling you how fastly heat will be propagated but rho c is telling you how heat is going to be stored how much heat will be required to increase the temperature of a unit volume by unit degree celsius so just like thermal conductivity is giving you a feel of how fastly the heat is propagating this ratio is actually giving you a feel of how fastly the temperature is increasing consider this situation consider a lower value of alpha for a conducting material for a material who has a given thermal conductivity consider the low value of alpha when it will be possible when denominator will be high right higher value of denominator means you will require a lot of heat to increase the temperature of any unit volume by 1 degree celsius lower value of alpha means you are you are having a conducting material for example we are considering a conducting material which is a good value of thermal conductivity so it is a conductor but since rho c is very high so although it will propagate heat faster but its temperature won't increase that fast so if you have an application where you want the material to be conducting but you don't want the temperature of that material to rise quickly then you will use a material having lower value of thermal diffusivity because although it will be conducting but since denominator will be very high so heat will be traveling fast but its effect what is what is the effect of propagation of heat rise in temperature right so its effect won't be coming fastly its effect will be coming slowly temperature will rise slowly so at that place you will use a lower thermal diffusivity but opposite if you want a place where you not only want the material to be a good conductor but you also want that the temperature should reflect very fast the temperature should change very fast as a result of heat propagation in that case you will use a material of higher thermal diffusivity because denominator will be less less amount of heat will be required to raise the temperature temperature will rise very quickly so i hope the difference between thermal conductivity and its effect and thermal diffusivity and its effect is very much clear to you now and that is why if you observe this uh, 1d equation 1d conduction equation you will see that thermal diffusivity is defined with del t by del small t right when we are considering that situation is not steady there this term is appearing because if the situation is steady then temperature change is not something to discuss right when we discuss the change in temperature or when we discuss that how fastly the temperature is changing 
when we are in transient state of conduction when we are in unsteady state of conduction right only then the change in temperature or how fastly the temperature is changing at any given point that is relevant right and that is why the discussion of diffusion will be linked with unsteady it is more discussed when we are discussing about unsteady heat conduction when it reaches steady conduction thermal diffusivity is not relevant because temperature has reached where it wanted to reach now talking about how fastly temperature is changing is irrelevant so automatically this term will be gone when del t by del small t becomes zero for steady conduction this whole term will become zero automatically right so this is also you can say one more difference between thermal conductivity and thermal diffusivity that thermal conductivity is generally discussed everywhere right but it is more uh, discussed for the case of steady conduction especially if we talk about fourier's law of conduction but thermal diffusivity is generally linked with unsteady state only when the system when the part reaches steady state then how fast temperature is changing is absolutely irrelevant and that is also reflected in this equation because this right term will become zero. So I hope this difference is clear to you because in different books and sources, they simply write that thermal diffusivity tells that how fastly the heat diffuse. Now it's a very general statement for us to understand, right? How fastly the heat diffuse means what? What exactly is the diffusion of heat? Diffusion of heat is sensed, is felt by increase in temperature. So basically it is saying that how fastly the temperature rises as an effect of heat propagation. So I am sure this difference between uh, thermal conductivity and thermal diffusivity is clear to you now.